Golf Central on YouTube is brought to you by the new Apex Irons from Callaway. I, I had a great warm up. Um, the putters felt great all week, but um, didn't get off to the start I wanted to today. I was uh, a little disappointed on what I did on two, flipping it into the rocks, and was fortunate to get out of there with a bogey. But um, man, starting on seven, I kind of made a decision. That's a that's a tee shot where you gotta you gotta keep it very straight, but you're, you are rewarded if you can hit a nice driver or three wood. And I just smashed a three wood down there and, and hit a great five wood just short, pitched it to six feet, and it was felt like I was kind of off and running. Um, to birdie, I don't know, eight or nine of the last twelve <laughs> was uh, pretty. Uh, it was fun. I kind of you know at those at those states of play you kind of want to keep playing it's like kind of why we do this and, and it was just pure it was fun it was it was easy but um yeah i'll kind of do some recovery and and uh get ready for tomorrow get some good rest and try and do it again any birdie stick out in particular from around today um I, I was proud of how i kept pushing towards the end 16 was a, was a very tricky putt it kind of almost triple braked and i read it spot on it kind of hung in there at the end and, and caught the lip and then 17 was a really sweet shot. I almost hold that one for, for a one. And then um, had two nice shots in 18. Had a, a very difficult up and down on the last. So I really wanted to get that up and down. I had too good of a drive to make par. So I um, was fortunate to make that 12-footer and, and uh, make dinner taste a little better. Kind of a two-part. How do you turn around around where you said yesterday you weren't really feeling it, but turn it around today? And then earlier you mentioned you almost wish you could keep playing. So how do you keep that momentum yeah. on tomorrow? Well, it's it's pretty uh, similar stuff each night. I, I'll go and uh, kind of get my neck worked on. That's kind of a daily process for me, and jump in the cold plunge real quick, and then get in the sauna for a little bit, and kind of just do some stretching and get my body as as healthy as I can, and, and just try and get a good meal and a good night's sleep tonight, and watch a little football and talk to my kids. Kind of the same thing I'd do if I would have shot 78 today. So. Uh, 2014 Travelers, you went on a big birdie run yeah. uh, to win that tournament. What What is it like when you go on a run like that? Is it something where you're yeah. like, I hope this doesn't stop? Or well, I've if you start thinking, I hope this doesn't stop, is exactly when it stops. So it's it's really being pure and free and like just uh, it's a zone where you're just seeing and hitting. It, it's very quick. It's decisive. It's aggressive. There's not much thought. Um, it's fun. And you just kind of, like, I almost try to play faster because the decision's so clear in your mind. Like you can almost talk yourself out of hitting the proper shot when you're like, no, this is a perfect five iron. Like in my last, it was like a perfect five iron. I flew it three yards too far or else it would have been, you know, really close. But it just, just caught a little down slope and went too far. But like from 240 yards away, I almost landed within three yards of my landing spot. And it's like when we are in that type of, mindset in that type of athletic like the swings feeling right and a rhythms feeling right there's like a beauty and a purity to that um it's just it's what we train for it's it's, ac it's excellence and it's sometimes there and it's sometimes very far away but it's, it's those moments that we train for because it's easy when we're home with our friends and just playing for you know 20 bucks but when the trophies are on the line out here is when you want it to come out and so just hopefully i can get myself in position to have another shot at that tomorrow when you're in that, when you're on one of those runs, is is there less conversations with your caddy because you're so free and you're just doing it? And like you said, you're being aggressive and you're quick and you're going. Yeah, I I would say so. If anything, I Matt is usually pulling me back. He's kind of pulling the reins on me. He'll slow down a little bit, or because it, it just it comes to me very clearly in those moments. But you also don't want to get moving too fast, where you know you're 50 yards ahead of everybody, which I kind of was <laughs> doing to to a bit. So he does kind of hold me back at, at times and tries to just tell a joke or like kind of take a breath and and, and but I, I do get fast and you kind of get excited and you want to keep playing. It's kind of the beauty of this game. Awesome. Thanks a lot. We have um, Matt McCarty's making a run up there, but last week he made his first cut on the PGA yeah. Tour while you made your 300th. But being a veteran, how is it going to be helpful that you've been in these experiences before in contention? Well, I mean, it's it's always nerve wracking. It doesn't matter your age or uh, it's 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 just stepping up, getting ready in the morning, stepping up and hitting that first shot as best you can, and just kind of see what happens. Um, I love the course. I love playing this golf course. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's the swing feels nice. I'm gonna try and do the same drills I've been doing. I had a great uh, talk with Jake Thurm, uh, my coach, the other night, and. We kind of got some things back to basics and um, doing a simple little drill. And I'm 
go do a little more of it right now and, and uh, get up early and do my putting drills tomorrow. And like I said, whether it's 63 or 73 or whatever it is, it's it's kind of the same day. But it's at a, just a point in my career where it's just kind of fun to go give it a shot and just give it a run with nothing to lose. I truly feel it's not about anything but it, except trying to win. But, yeah, I mean, it feels good. I kind of didn't get off to a great start. I guess it's kind of nice to have another rain session to kind of get it going again. Um, but, yeah, no, it was fun and just kind of got hot a little bit, cooled off in the middle and was able to make some nice pars and the bogey on 10 was good. And, um, yeah, and then just finished with a couple and uh, hitting it well. And you just keep yourself in the fairway out here. You can kind of have some chances, and it was nice to make a few putts today as well. Dad came in, surprised you. When did you notice him during your round? Uh, he yelled at me on one, so I knew right away. I mean, he's hard to miss. He's a big dude, so. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, that was nice. Uh, yeah, it's always great having him out. What's his name? Scott. Scott. Okay. We call him Scooter. Where'd he come from? Arizona. Yeah, okay. from Phoenix. Yeah. You know, uh, Joe was in here earlier. He shot 62. He's a lefty. Mike Weir at one point was five under in the first round. I have to ask, is this course, is there something that's lefty-friendly about it? No, I mean, I think the way that these greens are shaped, there's a lot of holes that are lefty or righty favored. Like, um, four isn't a great lefty hole if you pull it like you're in the rocks. Um, I guess 18 is kind of favoring. Like, hopefully I'm never really going to hit it long left there, you know. Um, but, yeah, I think I think there's a bunch of... Like, some holes help, some holes hurt always. Um, I don't think it's a big deal. I, a lot of these, I think more so just kind of growing up in the desert and being comfortable with kind of finding my lines on a course where there's not trees and everything is helpful. Um, but, I mean, been driving it well. I think a lot of these tee shots kind of fit my eye, but you still got to put a good swing on it. So Was it immediate for you the first time you saw this place where you where you said to yourself, this is my kind of jam? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just very comfortable uh, environment, like being back in the desert. Um, and then also just, like, the views and, like, it's it's just a cool place to be, so it's a cool place to play well also. Um, but, yeah, I mean, just growing up in desert golf is very familiar, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, there are a few holes, like, you know, kind of both the drivable part threes kind of fit my eye well. I know a lot of guys have probably been laying up on five. I feel like I kind of like that tee ball a little bit more. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of good, like, kind of numbers for us too, like just how far I hit my driver and my three wood, like it, it feels comfortable in that aspect, but, uh, it's also a very uncomfortable golf course with, if you're off the fairway, like you could be reloading. So it's a tough place, uh, you know, to have nerves on and tomorrow will be no different for sure. You've, you've led at the Corn Ferry Tour, but that's one thing. How is this going to be different tomorrow in terms of trying to close this one out? That's yeah, the second tour, tour tournament ever. Yeah, I mean, I just think like the level's higher out here. Like, you know, you got to play, you got to play well, and you got to play even a little bit better probably to close it out. So, I mean, it's the same thing, and you know, all the stuff that kind of comes on the other side of a win out here of, you know, having the exemption for a couple of years, getting in the Masters, stuff like that. Like, it's it's hard not to think about those things, but. uh yeah, I mean it's fun. Like this is what this is what I've wanted to do, and to put myself in this chance like so early. Like I'm just gonna enjoy the opportunity, and you know it's gonna be really difficult what I have to do tomorrow. And if I play well, I'm confident I'll be able to win. But if not, you know, we're just getting started. So.